Breaking news overnight, the Prime Minister of New Zealand has announced immediate action to ban assault weapons in the wake of that terror attack that killed 50 people at two mosques. ABC's Eva Pilgrim has all the details. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. The shooter legally purchased the weapons used in this attack, and the prime minister wasting no time banning those very guns, saying it's for all of us. It's in the national interest, and it's about safety. It's been only six days since the terrorist attack targeting two Christchurch mosques left 50 people dead. And already, New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern is stepping up, immediately moving for a sweeping ban on assault weapons in her country. The time for the mass and easy availability of these weapons must end. And today, they will. The prime minister, who has vowed to not even say the shooter's name, says the drafted legislature targets the type of weapons used in the massacre, one of the most extensive gun control reforms in the country's history. New Zealand will ban all military-style semi-automatic weapons. We will ban all parts with the ability to convert semi-automatic or any other type of firearm into a military-style semi-automatic weapon. In the days following the attack, Ardern acting swiftly on a promise, vowing to quickly change the laws in a country where there are an average of 30 firearms for every 100 people. In the United States, where the rate is approximately four times higher, the Second Amendment and political opposition have stalled calls for similar reforms in the wake of mass shootings. Just as the first funerals get underway, the prime minister outlining those new changes expected to be enacted by April 11th. 30 people remain in the hospital, seven in critical condition. It's about all of us. It's in the national interest and it's about safety to prevent an act of terror happening in our country ever again. And these guns have been pulled from stores to prevent a rush to buy them. As you can imagine, it's going to take some time and money to put in this buyback program. They're estimating somewhere between 100 and 200 million dollars. Those gun owners can arrange either online or by calling their local police departments how they will turn these weapons in. Cecilia, amazing how quickly they moved there. Okay, Eva, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.